Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Operation Rescue. Tonight's scenario involves the location and recovery of a downed airman. When an operational plan requires the use of an airfield for force employment or recovery, several missions must be accomplished before the force can arrive. If you look to your right, you will see an overflight by a formation of aircraft consisting of an MC-130P Combat Shadow and two MH-53J Pavlo helicopters. The helos are in position to onload fuel from the C-130 through the probe and drogue refueling system. This system requires expert flying skills on the part of the helicopter pilots. The MH-53J Pavlo is equipped with sophisticated navigational systems and with the entire crew flying with night vision goggles. The two MH-53 Pavlo helos will ingress at very low altitude using terrain following radar and infrared sensors to minimize the chances of detection. They will be inserting members of the 23rd Special Tactics Squadron using both fast rope and assault landing procedures. The MH-53 Pavlo's precise navigational capabilities made it the obvious choice to leave the initial assault in Iraq during the Desert Storm conflict. A small reconnaissance and surveillance force, or RNS force, has been covertly inserted to observe enemy activity on the target airfield. The RNS force is typically small and could consist of personnel from Air Force Special Tactics teams, conventional U.S. forces, other government agencies, and our allies. For tonight's scenario, the Special Tactics team will secure the airfield, locate the downed airmen, and administer any medical aid required to prepare the airmen for exfiltration. This special tactics team provides vital information as they survey and assess the airfield for staging and evacuation points, contingency drop zones, landing zones, and likely areas for forward air refueling. Capable of all weather terrain avoidance and terrain following flight profiles, the Pavlo is inserting vehicles and personnel to secure the runway and ensure that it is clear of obstruction prior to the landing of fixed wing aircraft. High overhead, the AC-130H gunship is on station, using its sophisticated array of sensors to single out targets of opportunity. These sensors can also be used to track the movement of the special tactics team once on the ground and engage any enemy threats designated by the team. The AC-130H sensors and weapons are integrated through mission computers, giving the weapon system pinpoint accuracy. If called upon to engage targets, the gunship can bring an impressive arsenal of deadly weaponry to include 20 mm, 40 mm, and 105 mm cannon firepower. Its weapon targeting and delivery is simulated here tonight through the use of a laser emanating training system. If you turn your attention to the big screen, you will see an actual live fire demonstration being presented. This type of scenario is what you would witness in a real rescue attempt. The MH-53s that fly this evening will be simulating live fire. 
The forces in place tonight are representative of a much larger force able to handle any contingency. With the runway secure, the special tactics team will clear the formation of MC-130H Combat Talon II aircraft to land. Capable of all weather airdrop and blackout landing capability, the Combat Talon II uses its terrain following radar system and sophisticated electronic countermeasures equipment to penetrate enemy territory. Tonight, these aircraft from the 15th Special Operations Squadron will demonstrate a blacked out formation landing capability used to exfiltrate our precious cargo and special tactics team. With the Xville aircraft in place, the vehicles, precious cargo, casualties, and the accompanying security force make their way to the waiting combat talent. Upon rapid onload of every member of the assault and rescue force, the Talons will depart the area to the north. This concludes the Operation Rescue Exercise. We hope you enjoyed tonight's presentation and have gained a better understanding of Air Force Special Operations.